saw, what was your reaction to uh, having the phone ring and find out you're going to Green Bay? Oh, I mean, it was, it was indescribable how excited I was. You know, just to be uh, a part of such an organization, just to have an organization believe in me, um, that they wanted to pick me up and, and bring me onto the club. So uh, I, can't, I can't, there's no words to explain the excitement that was there. Jason, what do you think is your best position on the offensive line? Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of up to debate. You know, I, I played left tackle in, at IU all four years, and um, you know, I think I can move around. And like I said, it's, it's kind of up to debate where where they want to stick me at. So I haven't even stepped onto the onto you know Green Bay. So we'll see what happens when I get there and, and when I learn to play back. I'm just excited to be a part of the club. Jason, what do you think of the situation here in Green Bay to have five veteran starters in place and a chance to really learn early in your career from what they do? I think that's huge, and I think that yeah, you know, that's something that is going to make me that much better being able to be behind those guys and learn from them and see. Uh, you know, just learn some more, more of the tricks of the trade and, and really take in what those guys know and what those guys can do. Jason, how much interaction did you have with the Packers before the draft? Uh, you know, we met with, I met with them at the combine and, and just uh, at the senior bowl, um, just some phone calls here and there. So um, I think at, at the combine was really the biggest meeting I had with them. And, um, you know, I, I felt like it went well. So I think that's, that was the biggest portion. Yeah, I think I still need to work on you know a lot of my run game and, and even in passing, there's a lot of things to work on. Uh, I'd say in pass game, you know, the consistency and timing of my punch is probably the most uh, urgent thing I need to work on. And then run game, getting back off my toes and, and sitting on my heels, really anchoring down to, to get moving, moving guys off the ball. I think is, is something I'm gonna focus on. Did you think you had a chance to go in the first round, or were you disappointed after last night ended? What's that? Did you think you had a chance to go in the first round, and were you disappointed after last night ended? Um, you know, there's always a chance. Uh, there's some teams that had me graded in the second round, maybe sneaking into the first, but um, I don't think there's a whole lot of disappointment, per se, just from the standpoint that, you know, it's, for me, that's not really where it, most of my attention is. It's, I really just want to get you know, to a club where I fit well and, and getting, the, being the, getting the chance to play ball and, and continue my career. So. That was really what I'm excited about, and the positioning and which Brown is, doesn't really matter as much for me. Jason, you thought much about what it's going to be like to block for Aaron Rodgers? Uh, it's, like I said, it's indescribable with words. You know, like such a, with a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, it's not. You, there's there's a whole new level there that that you, I've never seen that uh, really excites me, and I can't wait to be able to get the chance. Uh, you know, I had a great experience at the Bowl, just being able to meet everybody and make those connections. On top of the fact, you know, being able to work on uh, some different things that had been pointed out uh, from season and from my career, trying to improve on those things and show that I can improve on different aspects of my game. And I think I did that well, and uh, I think that's why, you know, I think I had a good senior Bowl, because I was able to exploit those those uh, different different fundamental fundamental uh, niches in my, in my game that, you know, I could improve on and that I did. Jason, we heard that you uh, you added some size and strength throughout your college career. Do you recall how much you weighed when you arrived at IU compared to where you are now? Yeah, when I first got there, when I first stepped foot on campus, I was about 245, 250. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm up to about a little over 305 now. So um, all, the, all the time in the weight room and, you know, being able to work with the, the weight staff who, who were great with Coach Hill and, and Coach Rick Danison. Um, you know, they really helped me out a lot. You know, you know we talked about that at the combine. You were, how, how did you win as a very undersized freshman in, in a very good conference? What's that? How did you win as a very undersized freshman in a very good conference? Uh, it, it's really just, you know, focusing on your fundamentals, believing in coaching, and, and playing, your, playing your heart out. It's, that's really all it comes down to. And, um, you got to take the size difference out of your mind and focus in on the game and win your individual battles. Do you think that helps you in the long run? Yeah, I think it does. I think it, I think it, 
it changes the outlook of the game and, and you just play football instead of worrying about who's crossing you. You're trying to win every individual battle instead of uh, and taking every individual battle as it comes instead of trying to look at the whole picture. You're, you're boiling it down to, to play by play and you're trying to win each play at a time. Uh, you know, I got some small basketball school basketball offers uh, from small schools. Um, not a whole lot, but you know, it, it was really football was really my main. Uh, it, it's what I loved, and uh, that's what I was looking to play all along. Jason, were you surprised at all that you ended up starting as a freshman? And what do you think that experience did for you, getting four years to uh, you know, obviously get that much playing time? Uh, coming in, I didn't really think I was going to play as a freshman, and then. You know, with our fall camp, uh, having you know, one of the veteran tackles you know, get injured, and I stepped up, and Coach Fry kind of put me in there. Uh, I think it ended up helping me a lot. It, it allowed me that much more playing time and that much more experience in the game, and I think it did end up helping me a lot um, just overall with my career. The Colts originally had that 48th pick. They're your home state team. They also need offensive line help. Were you thinking that was a factor uh, Michael there? Um, yeah, not, not necessarily. I, I was, um, I, I, like, like I said, I was trying to, trying to take this whole process as it comes, and um, I'm just glad to be part of the Green Bay organization, and um, I was trying to hold, not hold any expectations as to where I was going, and, you know, like I said, I, I, I'm just happy to be part of the organization.